welcome to our channel. In this video we will review some facts about a lot of snakes. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Snakes are among the most common reptiles on the planet. In fact, with the exception of Antarctica, they have a presence on every continent. With these 50 types of snakes from throughout the world, you may learn more about their diversity now. Speckled Rattlesnake of Angel de la Guardia Island This venomous snake is named after the island of Isla Ingel de la Guardia in the Gulf of Mexico. It can grow to be up to 137 centimeters long, and its color is determined by the age of the specimen in question. Younger specimens are pink cinnamon with brown or dark brown spots. Older specimens, on the other hand, have a brown or gray tint with the blotches or speckles that give the species its name. This snake prefers to reside in rocky places along the coast, and specimens are rarely discovered more than 500 meters from the water. The food of the NGEL de la Guardia Island speckled rattlesnake is diversified, since it feeds on tiny birds, animals, and reptiles on the island. The NGEL de la Guardia Island speckled rattlesnake has a huge and stable population due to its home island's lack of persistent human presence and protected status. As a result, it has been designated as least concern for conservation. Garter snake in water. This non-venomous snake gets its name from the fact that it prefers to reside near bodies of freshwater such as ponds, streams, and lakes. It's especially common in swampy forest settings with abundance of the previously stated freshwater bodies. The aquatic garter snake can reach 102 centimeters in length. Its color, however, varies widely amongst specimens. Some examples are pale gray in appearance with dark markings on their flanks. Other examples are dark brown in hue, with spots all over their bodies. Instead, some instances may have a largely uniform black hue. A yellow stripe runs down the backs or around the necks of many aquatic garter snakes. In comparison, the aquatic garter snake's belly has less color diversity, often ranging from white to yellow. The aquatic garter snake feeds on small fish, which it can attract by imitating bug sounds. Unlike many other snakes, the aquatic garter snake bears live young rather than eggs. They can give birth to up to 12 snakes at a time on average, although they can have as few as three snakes in a brood. The aquatic garter snake has a stable population, earning at least concern conservation category. Copperhead from Australia. This type of snake is native to Australia and comes in three varieties. Highland, Lowland, and Pygmy. Pygmy Australian copperheads are the tiniest, reaching just 60 centimeters in length. They are primarily found in South Australia and on Kangaroo Island. The Highland Australian copperhead has a longer body, measuring up to 1.25 meters, and dwells mostly in the mountains of Victoria and New South Wales. The Lowland Australian copperhead has the longest body of all, measuring up to 1.75 meters, and is found primarily in southern Victoria State and on the island of Tasmania. Although a venomous snake, Australian copperheads have moderate venom by European standards. This implies that even a single bite can deliver enough venom to kill an adult human if not treated immediately. However, Australian copperheads normally avoid humans and eat largely frogs. They also have live young rather than eggs, with broods of up to 14 young. The Australian copperhead is now classified as least concern. Python with a ball. This non-venomous snake, often known as the Royal Python, is found throughout West and Central Africa. It receives its common name from its propensity of curling up into a ball when anxious or scared. With its gentle demeanor, the ball python is regarded as one of the safest pythons to handle in zoos and nature parks. It's also incredibly popular among exotic pet owners all around the world. The ball python is Africa's shortest python, rising to about 1.82 meters in length on average. It is black or dark brown in appearance, with light brown spots running down its back and sides. They mostly hunt small mammals and birds, with clear preferences for either gender. Males like to hunt tiny birds, while females hunt small animals. Despite its popularity and its non-aggressive nature, the ball python is officially listed as near-threatened. Scientists say that because of the animal's appeal and non-aggressive nature, poachers are heavily targeting it to feed the exotic pet market. Garter snake with a black neck. This non-venomous snake is usually found in the southwestern United States, although it can also be found in Mexico and Guatemala. It comes in two varieties, western and eastern black neck garter snakes. The western form can grow to be 107 centimeters long, whereas the eastern variant is usually only 51 centimeters tall. 
They also have different habitats, with the western black-necked garter snake preferring damp places near bodies of freshwater. Eastern black-necked garter snakes, on the other hand, prefer dry ground, even if it is near a body of freshwater. They also differ in color, with the western variation being dark olive with an orange-yellow stripe down its back. It has a cream or light gray belly as well. The eastern form, on the other hand, has a dark body with three light orange or orange-yellow stripes. Both species consume small amphibians, fish, and even other snakes. They may also consume earthworms on occasion. The conservation status of the black-necked garter snake is considered least concern. Python, black-headed. This non-venomous snake is native to Australia and is named from the glossy black color of its head. This contrasts with the remainder of its body, which is a mix of black, brown, cream, dark gray, and even gold. Its belly is usually bright in color with dark markings. The black-headed python has an extremely lengthy body, at least 1.5 meters long and up to 3.5 meters long at its longest. The black-headed eagle lives throughout northern Australia, avoiding only the desert areas. This has contributed to its stable population and least concern conservation designation. The black-headed python preys on other snakes and seldom on animals. Despite being a good swimmer, the black-headed python hates swimming. Mamba Noir. This venomous snake is native to Africa's sub-Saharan region and is one of the world's deadliest snakes. It is also the world's second longest venomous snake, with a maximum recorded length of 3 meters. Unconfirmed claims exist of even longer black mambas, with bodies measuring up to 4.5 meters long. Its color ranges from gray to dark brown, with younger specimens being lighter in color and darkening with age. The black mamba, on the other hand, has a black mouth, which gives it its name. Black mambas have an aggressive personality, and they bite frequently. A black mamba may kill a person in 10 minutes with several bites and the potent neurotoxins in its venom. Despite its aggressive nature, the black mamba usually avoids humans and will only attack if cornered. Otherwise, the snake would choose to flee and hide. Because of its diverse habitats, the black mamba has a stable population and a conservation classification of least concern. Snake, black rat. The name of this non-venomous snake comes from the nearly uniform black coloration of adults. Juveniles of the species, on the other hand, have a gray body with brown blotches down its length. Black rat snakes can reach lengths of up to 183 centimeters and a maximum recorded length of 256.5 meters. As a result, they are the longest snakes in Canada. They mostly prey on small mammals, amphibians, and birds. Black rat snakes have a stable population due to their vast range of habitats across North America. As a result, they have the conservation rating of least concern. It has also made them a mainstay of the legal exotic pet trade in the United States. Breeders purposefully bred mutations into tame black rat snakes in order to offer them a wider range of colors than found in nature. Pale or even albino black rat snakes are particularly popular. Whip snake in black. It is a venomous snake native to Australia, sometimes known as the lesser black whip snake. It can reach a length of around a meter and has a coloration that ranges from gray to dark brown to black. It also has black spots and white dashes running across its body. In contrast, its belly is gray and turns crimson as it gets closer to and under its tail. Typically, the black whip snake feeds on smaller reptiles. Because of its diverse variety of habitats across Australia, it maintains a stable population and a conservation category of least concern. It also increases their chances of encountering humans, with larger individuals of the black whip snake being especially hazardous. The boa constrictor. The boa constrictor, often known as the red-tailed boa or the common boa, is primarily found in South America. The boa constrictor can also be found on a number of Caribbean islands. The boa constrictor is a non-venomous snake with an extremely lengthy body that can reach 3.96 meters in length. It's also quite heavy for a snake, weighing up to 27 kilograms on average, with uncommon examples measuring up to 45 kilograms. The hue of a boa constrictor varies by region, although it is often brown, cream, or gray. They also feature brown or red-brown markings that get larger towards the end of their tails, giving rise to the alternate name of red-tailed boa. Boa constrictors mainly graze on medium-sized mammals and birds, with monkeys and even pigs serving as staples in their diet. Because of its diverse environment, the boa constrictor maintains a stable population, earning it the conservation rating of least concern. Copperhead with broad bands. 
It is a poisonous snake native to the southern United States, and its name comes from the broad dark brown bands that run along its body. These contrast with its skin's tan background tone, with the bands becoming smaller towards the middle of the body. This results in an interesting hourglass pattern on the snake. The species juveniles have green or yellow tails that they utilize as lures to assist them find prey. Broad-banded copperheads can grow to be 90 centimeters long and pursue a variety of prey, including small mammals, birds, and reptiles, as well as insects like caterpillars. Their venom also contains hemotoxins rather than neurotoxins, which function by damaging the blood rather than the nervous system. While moderate in comparison to other snake poisons, the main risk of a broad-banded copperhead's venom is the lack of an antidote. Cottonmouth antivenom, on the other hand, has proven to be an excellent replacement. Bullsnake. Bullsnakes are one of the longest snakes in North America, reaching an average length of roughly 2.44 meters. It receives its name from its distinct hiss, which has been compared to a bull's grunt by experts. It can also get rather heavy, averaging around 1.5 kilograms and reaching a maximum weight of 4.5 kg. Bullsnakes are typically yellow in hue, with blotches that range in color from black to brown to red to white. The bullsnake inhabits a diverse range of environments from northern Canada to southern Mexico. The bullsnake is a non-venomous snake that mainly preys on small mammals, although it can also prey on larger snakes, including rattlesnakes. Bullsnake hunting is actually discouraged by wildlife specialists since it helps manage the rattlesnake's wild population. The Burmese python. This non-venomous snake is native to Burma, as its name suggests, but it is found across Southeast Asia. They are also found in Florida, where they are considered an invasive species. This was due to their unintended introduction into the region in the late 20th century as part of the exotic pet market. The Burmese python is one of the world's longest snakes, reaching lengths of up to 5 meters. Unconfirmed claims of specimens reaching 7 meters in length also exist. It also has a diverse food, consisting largely of birds and mammals, but also includes amphibians and reptiles. In fact, due to its size, the Burmese python can prey on domesticated animals such as chickens and other types of poultry. They may also prey on pet cats and dogs, leading to their classification as a nuisance in Southeast Asia. However, they are also bred in captivity, either as pets or to harvest their skin for leather. For the same reason, wild Burmese pythons are hunted. Together with the gradual loss of habitat due to human activity, the Burmese python has been designated as a vulnerable species. Bushmaster. Because it is one of the most venomous snakes in the world, the snake's alternate name is Lachesis. This is named after one of the three fates of Greek mythology, who determines a person's longevity. A bushmaster can grow to be three meters long, with some examples reaching four meters. They have strong venom because they contain many types of poisons. Plasminogen, for example, damages blood vessels while simultaneously causing blood to coagulate inside the body. It also contains enzymes that destroy cells while also causing more damage to the blood vessels. Other enzymes create uncontrollable swelling, kill muscle fibers, and even force the body to attack and destroy its own nerves. Because of this toxic mixture, even a single bite from a juvenile bushmaster can kill an adult human. Unfortunately, all bushmasters are aggressive and will bite several times to inject as much venom as possible. Garter snake of Butler. It is a non-venomous snake native to North America that was named after ornithologist Amos Butler. Butler's garter snake is a tiny snake that can grow to be 51 centimeters long. It is olive brown to black in appearance, with three yellow or orange stripes running down its back. Rows of black dots may also run down between the spines. Butler's garter snake enjoys open and grassy places and feeds on invertebrates due to its modest size. This primarily includes earthworms and leeches. They may also consume smaller animals such as frogs and salamanders. Butler's garter snake conservation status is currently unknown. On the one hand, the species is listed as least concerned by international organizations. However, it is listed as endangered in both Indiana, USA, and Ontario, Canada. Rock python of Central Africa. The largest snake in Africa, despite its name, is not exclusive to Central Africa and may be found throughout the sub-Saharan region. It typically develops to be roughly 3.53 meters long, with some examples reaching 4.8 meters. Scientists have also verified unusual specimens measuring 6 meters in length, as well as unconfirmed reports of even longer specimens.
Central African rock pythons have blotches of various colors on their body, including brown, chestnut, olive, and yellow. These patches combine to form an uneven color scheme that changes from animal to animal. All Central African rock pythons, however, have white bellies. Central African rock pythons have a diverse diet that includes huge animals due to their large size. Antelopes, crocodiles, monitor lizards, monkeys, and warthogs are among them. They may also feed on human settlement pet cats and dogs. Scientists have also discovered evidence that they prey on the cubs of other predators like cheetahs and lions. However, scientists observe that this occurs only infrequently. Because of human development in their habitats, Central African rock pythons are now classified as near-threatened. Hunters often target them for their skin, which is used to make leather. Mountain Pit Viper Chasen. This alternative name, Kinabalu Brown Pit Viper, refers to its location on Mount Kinabalu in northern Borneo, Malaysia. Its common name, on the other hand, recalls Frederick Chasen, the curator of Singapore's Raffles Museum in 1931. Chasen's mountain pit viper can reach a length of 65 centimeters. It is usually dark brown or red brown in hue, with dark crossbands running down its body. These bands have a fractured pattern near the snake's head but expand in a consistent pattern towards the snake's tail. In contrast, its belly is constantly yellow and gray. The snake can only be found on Mount Kinabalu, in its submontane forests at altitudes ranging from 915 meters to 1.55 kilometers. The garter snake. Common garter snakes, a poisonous snake native to North America, have been the state reptile of the United States state of Massachusetts. Small reptiles, common garter snakes can only reach 1.2 meters in length, and even so, this is unusual. Garter snakes are often black, brown, or green in appearance, with yellow stripes. Because of its diminutive size, their venom is less hazardous to humans than that of other snakes. It will only produce irritation and swelling around the bite region, as well as a burning sensation. However, it is powerful enough to kill the snake's regular prey, which includes frogs and small animals. It also makes them resistant to the venoms of other poisonous creatures, such as toads and newts. Researchers have also discovered that common garter snakes can absorb the toxin of any newts they consume. The toxin remains in the snake's body, making it poisonous to anything that eats it. In fact, would-be predators appear to have figured this out, as they avoid preying on the common garter snake. Snake of the corn. It is a non-venomous snake that resembles numerous copperhead species, which regrettably leads to it being sought and killed out of fear. The corn snake gets its name from its propensity of residing around silos and other grain storage facilities. The snake does this to exploit how rats and other tiny mammals try to get at the grain. This, however, places it in contact with humans. However, experts see this as a mutually beneficial partnership, with the snakes acting as environmentally benign pest management. Corn snakes can reach 1.82 centimeters in length and are pale brown or pink in appearance. Their bodies also have crossbands that run the length of them, varied in hue from light brown to pink. This also makes it difficult to distinguish the bands from the remainder of the corn snake's skin. Cottonmouth. The cottonmouth is one of the world's few semi-aquatic pit vipers, primarily found in the southeastern United States. It's also one of the world's longest pit vipers, reaching a maximum length of 90 centimeters, with uncommon examples reaching 1.8 meters. Cottonmouths have mostly black skin, with a few exceptions having various hues. Brown, gray, and even yellow-green are examples, with dark brown or black bands running down its body. The bands diminish with age, and the oldest cottonmouths appear to have no bands at all. The belly of a cottonmouth, on the other hand, is always white or yellow-white with dark markings. Similarly, its head is usually brown. Cottonmouths contain one of the most potent snake venoms, made up of cytotoxins that simply destroy tissue. While deaths are rare, especially with antivenom, cottonmouth bites frequently result in severe scarring. In certain cases, the tissue damage is so severe that doctors are forced to amputate. Cottonmouths are currently suffering from habitat loss as a result of human development. Despite this, they manage to keep a constant population. As a result, international organizations classify them as of least concern. However, the state of Indiana in the United States considers them to be an endangered species. Adder of death. It is a venomous snake native to Australia and one of the deadliest snakes on the planet. They may strike quickly, and in fact, they are Australia's fastest striking snakes. 
Their venom is a strong neurotoxin that paralyzes the victim and kills them by preventing them from breathing. Without medical attention, humans die within six hours of being bitten by a death adder. Death adders can reach one meter in length and feature alternating bands of red, brown, and black on their body. Their bellies, on the other hand, have a consistent gray, pink, or white color. Death adders have a stable population, earning them the conservation designation of least concern. Despite their stable population and lethal venom, they are also negatively impacted by invading cane toads. Cane toads devour young death adders, whereas adult death adders that eat the toads are poisoned by the toad's venom. Water snake with a diamond back. It is a non-venomous snake native to North America that resides primarily in the central United States and extends south to Mexico. It normally develops to be 1.22 cm long, with unusual specimens reaching 1.8 meters. Diamondback water snakes have brown or green skin with black net-like markings on their bodies that form diamond shapes. They also have dark colored bands running along their sides. Their bellies, on the other hand, are yellow or light brown with black markings. Diamondback water snakes, as the name suggests, prefer to live near water, such as in swamps near ponds, rivers, and streams. Their appearance also bears some resemblance to venomous snakes like rattlesnakes. As a result, they have unfortunately become the target of human preventative killings. Despite this, diamondback water snakes have a stable population, earning them the conservation designation least concern. Copperhead, Eastern. It is a poisonous snake that is endemic to North America and may be found throughout much of the eastern United States, with the exception of Florida and northern New England. They typically grow to be 95 centimeters long, with only a few specimens reaching or exceeding one meter in length. They also have light brown or pink skin that darkens towards the tops of their heads, as well as crossbands running down their bodies. These bands are often light brown or pink in color and darken as they go towards the snake's flanks. The belly of an eastern copperhead is usually paler than the rest of its body, with one to three crossbands towards the tail. Eastern copperheads have very little venom, the least of any pit viper. They're also not particularly aggressive, and when biting in self-defense, they normally offer a dry bite devoid of venom as a warning. Only when the animal or person that has disturbed them refuses to go will the snake begin injecting venom in subsequent bites. Eastern copperheads have a stable population, earning them the conservation designation least concern. Diamondback in the East Rattlesnake. It is the largest rattlesnake of all and one of the largest venomous snakes in the Americas, where it resides in the southeastern United States. Eastern diamondbacks can grow to be up to 2.1 meters long, with unusual individuals reaching 2.5 meters. They are also one of the world's heaviest snakes, weighing an average of 2.3 kilograms and reaching a maximum of 5.12 kilogram. Scientists have also discovered uncommon specimens weighing up to 6.7 kg. Eastern diamondbacks are brown, brown-gray, olive, or yellow-brown in appearance, with dark brown or black diamond-shaped markings. As you get closer to the snake's tail, the markings change from diamond to crossbands. The belly of an eastern diamondback is yellow or cream-colored, with dark markings along the sides. Eastern diamondbacks are among North America's most lethal venomous snakes. Even with treatment, fatality rates can reach up to 30%. One's venom contains a cocktail of chemicals that damage blood arteries and destroy platelets. The venom also contains proteins that cause heart tissue destruction, which can lead to heart failure. Eastern diamondbacks are classified as least concern, however they have experienced localized extinctions. This is due to preemptive eradication operations, such as those in North Carolina, to keep snakes from biting people. Garter snake, eastern. They are a non-venomous snake endemic to North America and can be found from Ontario and Quebec in the north to the Gulf of Mexico in the south. The eastern garter snake is even described as the most common snake in New England some animal guides. This adds to their conservation category of least concern. The eastern garter snake, like all garter snakes, is quite little, reaching about 66 centimeters in length on average. Having said that, the largest reported specimen of this snake has grown to 1.24 meters in length. Eastern garter snakes prefer grassy and stony habitats, while some do live in wetlands. They've also adapted to living in cities, becoming surprisingly widespread in towns and cities. Eastern garter snakes frequently avoid humans and prefer to flee rather than bite. While eastern garter snakes do not have venom, its saliva can induce allergic reactions in a tiny number of victims. Milk snake of the east. 
Because of its brilliant and vibrant colors, the checkered adder is occasionally mistaken for a dangerous snake when it is not. The eastern milk snake is a North American native that can be found in both Canada and the United States. They live in states ranging from Maine and Ontario to Alabama and North Carolina in the north. Eastern milk snakes typically grow to be about 91 centimeters long, yet scientists have found specimens that were 1.32 meters long. One has an alternate pattern of red-brown and white bands edged in black on its skin, while the belly has an uneven pattern of black and white patterns. The eastern milk snake is a popular exotic pet in the United States due to its tiny size, non-venomous nature, and docile personality. Eastern runner. These snakes get their name from the quick movement speed of up to 5.6 km per hour, making them some of the world's fastest snakes. Eastern races are a non-venomous snake found in North and Central America. They can be found in Canada, the United States, Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize. In fact, they are the most prevalent snakes in Florida and the state reptile of Ohio. The diverse habitats and stable population all contribute to their conservation category of least concern. Eastern races normally grow up to roughly 1.52 centimeters long, while scientists have documented uncommon individuals of up to 1.85 meters long. They are usually uniformly colored in black, blue, brown, and green. This also lends them the names black, blue, brown, and green races. Some sources also use runner instead of racer. Eastern races, on the other hand, have pale bellies in comparison to the rest of their bodies. Similarly, juvenile eastern races have dark markings on their bodies that vanish with age. Viper of Far Far's viper was named after Italian explorer Leonardo Far, who discovered it in the late 1800s. Scientists describe it as the most primitive of the vipers. They can be found all over South and Southeast Asia, from northern Vietnam to southern China to Myanmar and Tibet. They prefer to live in those regions hilly terrain, often at altitudes of roughly one kilometer above sea level. Far's viper develops to be quite short, with the longest specimens being only about 77 centimeters long. The majority of their bodies are lustrous blue-gray or black, with widely scattered white-orange crossbands. Their bellies, on the other hand, have an olive-gray tint with bright dots. Their heads, which are orange or yellow with gray markings, also stand out from the rest of their bodies. The Fars viper mostly feeds on tiny mammals and has an odd venom that scientists are still trying to figure out. They know that the venom operates in part by paralyzing the muscles, but they've also noted that the venom of the Fars viper isn't just a neurotoxic. To this day, research into the secrets of snake venom is ongoing. Cottonmouth in Florida. This snake is named after the state of Florida, where it was discovered and now resides. It resembles non-venomous water snakes, which can be harmful because the Florida cottonmouth has extremely potent venom. It contains hemotoxins, which function by damaging the blood, leading in a 17% fatality rate even when treated immediately. The Florida cottonmouth is a huge snake that can grow to be 1.89 meters long. Its body is olive brown or dark brown with black shadings, with dark lines running down its body. As people become older, the skin darkens, and many adults lose their markings. The head, on the other hand, has two stripes on its cheeks, with white markings above and below. Lance head in gold. This venomous snake can only be found on Snake Island, which is located off the coast of Brazil near Sao Paulo. It receives its name from its gold-colored skin, which is speckled with light spots that run down its body. It also refers to the snake's head, which is elongated and narrows to a point, similar to the head of a lance or a spear. Unlike most snakes, the golden lance head's belly has little contrast with the rest of its body. The golden lance head can grow up to 90 centimeters long, with uncommon specimens reaching 1.18 meters. The golden lance head's venom has been specialized as a result of its seclusion on Snake Island. It is more effective against other snakes, reptiles, and birds than it is against mammals. However, because of the snake's seclusion, there is no record of a human being bitten by a golden lancehead. This means that it's unclear how seriously the snake's poison would impact a human. Anaconda verd. It is the world's biggest snake, weighing up to 70 kilograms on average. It is also known as the enormous anaconda or the common anaconda. It is also one of the world's longest snakes, with a maximum length of 5.21 meters. The olive green skin of the green anaconda is dotted with dark spots that span the length of its body. Its skull likewise has two orange-yellow stripes on both sides. Green anacondas are found in South America, primarily in the region east of the Andes Mountains. 
Colombia, Bolivia, Brazil, Ecuador, Guyanas, Paraguay, Peru, and Trinidad are among them. They prefer to dwell near water, mainly in swamps and marshes, such as those found around the Amazon River. Green anacondas are slow and clumsy on land due to their great size, but they are deadly swift in the water. They are, in fact, some of the region's deadliest predators, capable of feeding on prey as large as deer and capybaras. However, while the media has portrayed them as man-eaters, there is only circumstantial evidence that green anacondas have ever preyed on humans. Despite the significant threat posed to their native habitats by human activity, green anacondas retain a fairly steady population. This has earned him the conservation designation of least concern. The Indian Python. This snake is also known as the Indian Rock Python or the Black-tailed Python. And, as the name implies, it spends the majority of its time in India. It is also present in neighboring Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Myanmar. The snake grows exceptionally long as a python, on average approximately 3 meters, with the longest reported specimen being 4.6 meters. It has white or yellow skin with brown or dark brown spots running down its body. Indian pythons are not aggressive and rarely fight back when challenged, preferring instead to flee and hide. This is also how they love to hunt, lying in wait before ambushing their prey. Indian pythons had a constant population in the 20th century, but their numbers dropped by 20% between 2010 and 2020. Scientists attribute this to habitat degradation caused by human development as well as overhunting of the animals for their skin. As a result, they were given the conservation classification of near-threatened. Snake of the Indian Rat. It is one of the most prevalent snakes in South and Southeast Asia and is also known as the Oriental Rat Snake or Durash in Hindi. They grow to be rather huge, typically 1.95 meters long, with the longest known specimen reaching 3.7 meters. Despite their length, they are relatively slender, with a maximum diameter of 6 centimeters. Their color varies depending on where they inhabit, with dry area Indian rat snakes being pale brown. Indian rat snakes from damp environments, on the other hand, have hues of black. Indian rat snakes prey on small mammals such as rats, which adds to their proclivity to live in or near cities. Taipan's interior. This venomous snake is native to Australia and is also known as the Western Taipan or the small-scaled snake. It is also the most venomous snake on the planet, having developed expressly to hunt and kill mammals. In fact, a single bite of inland Taipan venom can kill up to a hundred humans. It's also quite aggressive, biting its victims numerous times, and has an 80% death rate if not treated immediately. However, the inland Taipan is a reclusive creature who will only bite if necessary. Otherwise, it would rather flee and hide. Inland Taipans have dark or light green skin with black shaded scales on their flanks and tails. Their skin also changes color with the seasons, becoming lighter in the summer and darker in the winter. Inland Taipans normally reach lengths of roughly 1.8 meters, with some individuals reaching lengths of up to 2.5 meters. The snake is classified as least concern in terms of conservation, however it has become extinct in portions of its range, including Victoria State in southern Australia. The king cobra is arguably the most well-known snake, as it is the first thing that springs to mind when people hear the term snake. It is also the world's longest venomous snake, usually roughly 4 meters long, with some specimens reaching 5.85 meters. It varies in color from black with white stripes to a consistent brown-gray. It's most known for its neck flaps, which the snake spreads as part of an aggressive show to warn other animals away. Despite their notoriety, king cobras generally avoid humans. It also rarely feeds on animals or non-reptiles, preferring to prey on other snakes. When biting its target, the king cobra has a propensity of keeping its fangs as long as possible in the prey's flesh. It does this to ensure a clean kill by injecting as much venom as possible. This, however, makes delivering medical care to humans bitten by a king cobra much more difficult. It also contributes to the animal's lethal reputation, which has led to it being associated with destruction in Hindu mythology. Nonetheless, it has acquired the distinction of being India's national animal. Despite receiving vulnerable conservation classification due to habitat degradation due to human development, the species now faces insufficient safeguards. Pit Viper of Malaya The Malayan Pit Viper, as the name suggests, is found in Malaysia, although it also extends north into Thailand. It also operates in Indonesia, Laos, and Nepal. This diverse range of habitats enables the snake to maintain a steady population and, as a result, the conservation category of least concern. 
Malayan pit vipers normally grow to be 76 cm long, with unusual examples reaching 91 cm. Its skin is typically brown, gray, or red, with alternating or opposing rows of blotches. These spots are dark brown in tone with black outlines. The belly of a Malayan pit viper, on the other hand, is yellow with gray or brown markings. It's also extremely aggressive, with Malaysia alone reporting 700 bites per year. Fortunately, the venom isn't particularly lethal, with a fatality rate of around 2% when treated promptly. Milk snake from Mexico. This non-venomous snake is usually found in Mexico, although it can sometimes be found further north into the United States. It is also very short in comparison to other milk snakes, only reaching a maximum length of 70 centimeters. It also has similar colors to the deadly coral snake, which causes novices to confuse the two. The Mexican milk snake, in particular, has alternate stripes of red, black, and white down its body. Coral snakes, on the other hand, have alternating bands of red, yellow, and white, which experts say makes it easy to tell the two snakes apart. The Mexican milk snake is a friendly snake that eats small mammals and reptiles. The latter, in particular, has made it a worldwide favorite among exotic pet owners. Pit viper of Montaigne. It gets its common name from its preferred habitat, which is forested areas along mountainsides. It was named after the 19th century English biologist Frederick Godman. The Montaigne pit viper is found primarily in southern Mexico, but its range extends south into Guatemala. They are rather short snakes, often reaching just 55 cm in length, with some specimens reaching 75 cm in length. They are primarily black, with a zigzagging stripe running down their backs. The snake's head, on the other hand, is rust red. While it is a venomous snake, its venom is not extremely deadly, with the current absence of antivenom complicating any medical care following a bite. The night adder. This venomous snake, also known as the rhombic night adder, may be found throughout Africa's sub-Saharan region. It's a short snake, usually reaching just 60 cm in length, though some individuals can reach 93 cm. The snake can also travel at high speeds, reaching speeds of up to 92 cm per second. The night adder is typically olive green in color, but some snakes are black. It also has a pattern of white-edged rhombuses running along its body, which gives it its name. It also has a characteristic V-shaped mark on its head in brown with a black outline. While venomous, the night adder isn't extremely lethal, with no recent fatalities receiving rapid medical attention. The olive sea snake. It spends all of its time underwater, where it dwells in coral reefs, and is also known as the golden sea snake. Ironically, its name does not accurately describe its look, as it is predominantly dark or violet in hue, with a pale belly. However, it can grow to be fairly big with most adults measuring over a meter long and the longest reported specimen measuring two meters long. It's also the most deadly sea snake, with venom that literally digests its prey from the inside out. Scientists believe the olive sea snake developed this manner to improve its digestion. However, the olive sea snake is not particularly aggressive, preferring to avoid larger fish and even divers. However, it can and will attack if disturbed, prompting specialists to urge divers to stay away from the snakes. Vipers of the palm pit. This venomous snake, also known as the eyelash viper, can be found in Central and South America. It gets its common name from its habit of hiding in palm trees while hunting. Similarly, its alternate name is derived from the unusual arrangement of scales around its eyes, which resemble eyelashes. Palm pit vipers have a modest length for vipers, usually only growing up to roughly 88 centimeters long. Their skin is a variety of colors, ranging from brown to green to pink to red to yellow. Their scales may also include brown or black speckles. Palm pit vipers do not have conservation status since no international agency has formally assessed their population stability. Despite this, scientists are concerned that deforestation, human development, and poaching pose severe dangers to the species' survival. Picado's pit viper jumps. Picado Twite, a Costa Rican herpetologist, gave his name to this Central American snake. Its name also refers to how energetically it can attack since the snake virtually springs off the ground when it does so. It dwells in the mountainous parts of Costa Rica and western Panama, at elevations ranging from 50 meters to 1.5 kilometers above sea level. The snake can reach a length of 95 centimeters, with the longest documented specimen measuring 1.2 meters. It has brown or gray skin with diamond-shaped patterns running down its back. 
Despite being venomous, medical experts say Picado's jumping pit viper venom isn't very deadly if the victim receives rapid medical assistance. The red milk snake. A non-venomous snake native to North America, where it can be found throughout the central United States. They normally reach 91 centimeters in length, with the longest known specimen reaching 132 centimeters. Its skin has alternating white and red bands with black edges. In addition, some specimens have odd color variations, such as red-brown or gray-brown instead of red. Because of its bright and vibrant colors, the snake is commonly misidentified as a deadly snake. Its belly, on the other hand, contrasts with the rest of its skin, being white with a black checkerboard pattern. The head of a red milk snake has a noticeable red splotch with black edges. Python reticulated. The reticulated python, the world's longest snake, is found throughout South and Southeast Asia. While it prefers to dwell on land, the snake swims exceptionally well, which scientists believe has helped it to expand to islands throughout the region. The reticulated python can grow to be 6.5 meters long on average, with the longest documented specimen being 6.95 meters. It's also one of the world's heaviest snakes, with a maximum weight of 75 kilograms on average. The snake has one of the most intricate color palettes in the animal kingdom. It is described by scientists as a multicolored series of uneven diamond shapes that form a complicated geometric pattern. It's a type of natural camouflage that makes the snake almost invisible in the wild. It's also known as disruptive coloring. The reticulated python is also one of the few snakes that has been proven to hunt and feed on humans. Given the animal's long history of preying on humans, the United States banned its import in 2015. There have been at least three confirmed occurrences of reticulated pythons eating humans since then. They were all held in Indonesia, first in 2017, then in 2018, and finally in 2020. Snake with a ribbon. The ribbon snake is a tiny snake native to North America that resides in the eastern United States. They can reach a maximum length of 85 centimeters and have dark brown skin with yellow lines. They prefer to reside in densely forested wetlands, such as marshes bordering lakes, ponds, and streams. While this makes ribbon snakes good swimmers, especially when seeking for food, they prefer to reside on land. Ribbon snakes eat small amphibians and reptiles like frogs, newts, salamanders, and toads. They also eat invertebrates like earthworms and spiders. These snakes are also known to be cautious, preferring to flee and hide rather than bite larger creatures. Snake with a ring neck. The ring-necked snake is a rather contentious type of snake that has a large population in Canada, the United States, and Mexico. The snake's dispute stems from a lack of research on the species. The ring-necked snake, in example, is said to have 14 subspecies, however many experts dispute this due to limited data. The ring-necked snake gets its name from the red, yellow, or yellow-orange ring that wraps around its neck. Its back is usually gray or olive in hue, which contrasts with its red or yellow-orange belly. Along the sides of the belly are usually crescent-shaped black marks. The head of a ring-necked snake is usually darker than the rest of its body. Water cobra with rings. This venomous snake, sometimes known as the banded water cobra, is found primarily in Central Africa, but also in portions of West Africa. It is a very long snake that can grow to be around 2.2 meters long, with the longest known specimens reaching 2.8 meters. It has glossy brown, red-brown, or gray-brown skin with black stripes running along its body. The skin also darkens towards the tail, which is completely black. The snake's belly, which is pale yellow, contrasts with the rest of its body. The ringed water cobra, as the name suggests, prefers to stay in the water, and can stay underwater for up to 10 minutes. In fact, the snake prefers to conceal rather than move slowly when on land. It primarily feeds on fish and amphibians such as frogs and toads. Because the ringed water cobra tends to avoid humans, bites are uncommon. Although research on the snake's venom has been limited, the studies that have been conducted indicate that the ringed water cobra has powerful and long-lasting neurotoxin-based venom. Taylor's cantle. This poisonous snake was named after Dr. Edward Taylor who undertook extensive research on Mexico's amphibian and reptile species. Taylor's cantle is quite large, reaching a length of roughly 90 centimeters on average. Their bodies exhibit black or gray-brown bands split by short stripes of orange, white, or yellow. Males of the species similarly darken with age, with many elderly individuals being completely black. Taylor's cantle normally avoids humans, but when approached, it gets quite violent. 
Having said that, there are no records of humans dying as a result of a Taylor's cantle bite. The conservation status of Taylor's cantle is ambiguous, with international organizations classifying it as least concern. The Mexican government, on the other hand, disagrees and has officially designated the species as threatened. Pit viper toadhead. This venomous snake, also known as the Campbell's toad-headed viper or the Ecuadorian toad-headed pit viper, is found in South America. It normally develops to roughly 105.7 cm in length, with the longest known specimen reaching 121.9 cm. The snake is brown and has slight trapezoid-shaped markings running along its body. Younger individuals have brighter blotches than adults, as well as red-brown tails. They presently have a vulnerable conservation classification because to habitat loss caused by human development. Human hunting is another hazard to them. According to Ecuadorian data, a number of snakes have died as a result of automobile strikes. Diamondback Western Rattlesnake The most infamous snake in the United States, owing mostly to snake bites in the country. Despite the fact that it is only found in the southwestern states and neighboring Mexico. Its venom contains a potent hemotoxin, which not only kills blood but also damages blood vessels and the heart. It also has secondary effects that harm muscle tissue and slow cellular regeneration. In fact, internal bleeding is a potentially lethal sign of western diamondback bites. Western diamondbacks can reach lengths of up to 1.2 meters, with the longest known specimen reaching 2.13 meters. They also have a dusty, gray-brown tint that helps them blend in with the environment. People don't realize they're walking up to a dangerous and venomous snake until it's too late, which makes them highly dangerous. Western diamondbacks have black, gray-brown, or brown markings down their bodies as well. These blotches begin as rectangular shapes near the skull and progress to hexagonal and, lastly, diamond shapes. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel, since we will be covering a lot of similar content in the future. Till next time, stay curious.